Good morning, Ash class. It's Friday the 1st of May, and today, as you might be able to tell by my funky hat, it might be round backwards, I don't know, we are going on a safari. Not just any safari. Today, we're learning about music, so we're going on a musical safari. So instead of seeing the animals with our eyes, we're going to hear the animals with our ears. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? Here's how we're going to do it. Do you remember last year before Christmas, we listened to Peter and the Wolf it was a piece of music and we watched the ballet to go with it. And the composer, the person that wrote that music had designed it so that the different instruments sounded like different animals. There was a clarinet that sounded like a cheeky little cat and a big, loud, low instrument that sounded like a scary wolf. Remember, we're listening to a piece of music a bit like that today. It's called the Carnival of the Animals. Have you ever been to a carnival before? What do you think a carnival of animals would be like? The Carnival of Animals is a piece of music composed by someone called Camille Sonsin. And it's a piece of music that describes lots of different animals. So you won't hear sounds like dogs woofing and you won't hear chickens clucking, but you will hear instruments and music that's designed to make you think of different animals. So if it's a very quiet animal, it might be very quiet music. If it's a very loud animal, it might be loud. If it's a very fast animal, it might be fast music. Slow might be slow music. Just like in Peter and the Wolf, but a bit different. Task A today is to listen to the Carnival of the Animals, but don't watch the video because that'll give you a clue. Just listen to it. And then guess what each part of music is trying to represent and see if you can write it down. You can write down your guesses on this sheet if you like. Then, when you've had done all your guesses, come back to this video and we'll go through the answers together. You'll need to pause the video first though, otherwise you'll get spoiled for all the answers. So pause the video now, go and do your guesses, and then come back, press play again, and we'll go through the answers. Ready? I'll just wait here. Have you done your guesses? Well done. Okay, here are the animals that Camille Sansan was trying to represent in music. Now you might not get these right, can I be honest with you? When I did this first time, I didn't get very many right. It's not about getting them right or wrong. It's about having a guess and thinking about the different types of animals and how they might sound. Okay, so don't worry if you don't get them right. It's not about getting them right. It's about having a guess. And if you've had a guess, you've done a good job. Right, so off we go. Okay, so the first piece of music in the Carnival of the Animals sounds like this. In that piece of music, Camille Sansan is trying to represent the animal of a lion. Do you guess lion? Sometimes it's called the king of the jungle. It sounds very dramatic, almost like someone really important is turning up, like a lion who's sometimes called the king of the jungle. Part two sounded like this. Mm, that's a very high pitched piece of music, very fast. Very fast. It sounds almost a bit like animals pecking on the ground, maybe. Maybe even flapping their wings and pecking at seeds. That represents hens and roosters. So have you said hens and roosters or any kind of bird? That what a great guess. Well done. Okay, part three. Sounded like if I can get it, sounded like this. Oh no, that's not the right one. Yes, part three sounded like this. Is that 
music fast or slow? Very fast, wasn't it? In fact, that piece of music is called swift animals. Swift means very fast. So any fast animal you wrote is right. You might have written something like a gazelle or a horse or a deer or any animal that runs really fast. That part was swift animals because it was swift music. Here's part four. That piece of music is all about tortoises. It's very slow, almost like the way a tortoise moves. Do you recognise the tune that's being played? It's quite a famous bit, actually. Piece number five sounded like this. Very low instrument. Not very fast. I think this might be a big animal. In fact, this piece is all about elephants. It's played on the double bass, which is the largest of the string instruments. And it plays very low notes to show how big the elephants are. So if you guessed a big animal, like an elephant or a hippo or a rhino, really good guess, well done. Number six, let's have a listen. That piece of music represents, hmm, what do you think? It's quite a bouncy piece of music. Do you know any bouncy animals? Kangaroos. That piece was all about kangaroos. You can almost hear them and see them jumping in your head, can't you? Hmm. Okay, piece number seven is a really famous piece. I think some people might recognise this already. Let's have a listen to piece number seven. quiet music isn't it it's kind of twinkly they've used an instrument called a glockenspiel and a piano which are quite twinkly magical sounding instruments and they almost sound quite graceful as if some animal is moving very slowly and gliding gracefully like a fish so that piece of writing was called the aquarium so it represents all the animals that might live underwater in an aquarium or under the ocean you might think of animals like fish swimming quickly or slowly that was piece number seven here's piece number eight <laughs> reminds me definitely of an animal. A donkey. That piece was the donkey. Piece number eight is the donkey. Here's piece number nine. That piece of music describes a bird. You could actually hear it a little bit going, it's the cuckoo. It's a clarinet uh, instrument, which is a woodwind instrument. It sounds like a cuckoo. Here's piece number, that was, that was nine. It's piece number 10. Lots of very high sounding instruments, very quick instruments being played very quickly there. It's a flute actually, and it makes me think about lots of little birds. That part of music, piece number 10, is called the aviary, which is where birds live. So if you did any kind of bird or just birds, well done you, good guess. Here is piece number 11. 
bit of a trick one, to be honest with you, but here is piece number 11. Do you think that sounded like any type of animal? Well, that one I think is a bit cheeky of Camille Sansan, actually, because that's not representing an animal. That bit's all about pianists, which is people that play the piano. So they're not really animals, are they, people that play the piano? But there we go. That piece of music is all about people playing the piano. Piece number 12 is a bit cheeky as well. So see what you think about this one. And I wouldn't expect anybody to be getting this one right. And again, it doesn't really represent an animal. It's a little bit of a trick one because that one is designed to make you think about fossils. I suppose the xylophone they use does sound a bit like playing on bones, doesn't it? There we go. Very cheeky there, Sansan. On to piece number 13. It's a really calm, slow, quiet piece of music and it represents a calm, slow, quiet animal. That bit is about a swan. It's a cello, which is one of my favourite instruments, and it's a really lovely, calm sound. And you can almost hear the swan swimming on the pond, can't you? Right, piece number 14 is the last piece. So, are you ready? Am I ready? Here we go. number 14 is a little bit of a trick one as well because it's actually the finale it's the end of the carnival of the animals where you hear all of them put together at different times so you might have heard all different kinds of animals maybe having a big crazy party or something having a carnival so that was number 14 so I'll put the answers um, up in just a minute for you if you missed any of them so I'll put the answers up on the screen for you I hope you found that fun and I hope the trick ones weren't too frustrating because they are a little bit aren't they so that was task A and task B was to check it with me task C today is what do you think it's Friday it's spelling test day task C is to do your spelling test and I know you've been practicing these really really well so have a lovely time doing your spelling test and I know you'll all do brilliantly that's it from me today. I hope you all had a lovely time listening to The Carnival of the Animals by Camille Sansan. If you want to, you might even make up your own piece of music to go in The Carnival of the Animals. What animals did they not include that you think should have been in the carnival? You might want to write your own piece of music. I'll see you on Monday with another learning challenge. Bye.